Okay, in this uh, tutorial we're going to be looking at setting up your initial kind of start folder structure for your Inventors Room project. So it's really important that you all go through this step so that everything is set up to work. If you get this right from the get-go, you won't have any kind of problems with your, your project, so importing, exporting, etc. So it's really important to get this right, right from the start. So in 3ds Max, uh, we're going to set up our project folder first. So we'll go to the Max button and go to Manage Set Project Folder. Now I'm going to do mine on the C drive. Uh, you'll be doing yours on your M drive or most likely on, say, a portable hard drive. So just to show you, I actually have a kind of projects folder here, and that's where I have all my more kind of personal and kind of freelance based projects but just for this I'm going to click on my C drive here and do make new folder and I'm going to call this TA underscore inventors inventors room I notice I'll do an underscore and that's because kind of games engines and anything using code doesn't like spaces so I always use an underscore instead so hit enter and we can see now I've got my new folder and then I can hit OK. Now if I go to my Max button now and just go to Save As, you'll notice how it's automatically put me in the Inventors Room folder, which is great because it means I don't have to ever browse there anymore. And in my Inventors Room folder you can see the structure I have here. Now there's a couple of more uh, folders we're going to need to add to this. We've got export for putting all our Mac stuff and scene assets for like all our textures and things. But uh, also in here we're going to want to go right click and go new folder and we're going to put UDK in there. Now in here we're going to put our package and our level. So once you've got this set up, you're pretty much all right. Uh, just to show you another little thing I like to do actually, is make another folder and call this research. And you know, you can put this in kind of scene assets or material libraries, it's up to you, but I'm, I like to just have a research folder and put all my research images in there. So I might as well just cancel this for now. And then I want you to fire up UDK and uh, open your content browser and another important thing to get right straight from the get-go is setting up your package so I'm going to click on well just to show you to open the content browser there's a little button up here open the content browser or control shift and F so I'm going to select new packages and I'm going to hit the new tab and I'm going to call this TA Inventors make sure you spell it right TA Inventor, I'm just going to call it TA Inventor just to uh, you know shorten the, the name a bit in case I ever need to use it in scripting or anything don't worry though you won't need any scripting for this module so we'll hit OK and give that a second to create Check this down and you can see now I've got TA Inventor package here now straight away before I even add anything in I'm going to right click on this and go to save and I can actually just go to recent places hopefully <laughs> anyway no I can't right it's going to find my project in here, so C drive, TA inventors room and I remember I've got my UDK folder and I'll just save this as TA inventor ok that's now saved ok and you should be able to just scroll down and see external here and TA Inventor. If you can't see that just hit the open tab and browse to your package and just hit open. Okay so we can see at the moment there's nothing in there 
but uh, just to get this make sure this definitely works because you never want a package that doesn't work properly for if you've done any of these steps wrong in 3ds max let's just do test export so we'll build a box in our scene and we'll go to export selected and we'll browse to our inventors room here and go to export now you do have, obviously you've got the option here of kind of setting up folders as well which I definitely suggest you do so you might have like furniture, walls etc so I'm actually just going to set a folder in there called well, not testing I'll just call it test and you can either export as an ASE or as an FBX so we're going to do the standard kind of ASE for now and let's call this TA underscore box test and just hit save now in your options make sure you tick on your mesh normals and your mapping cords otherwise your model won't display without this and without this you won't have any mapping if you've unwrapped the model then in UDK we'll go to import hopefully we can do recent places this time we can and bring in our box test and there's our box there in fact with this if you want to you can actually delete this so let's hit delete just for the sake of you know keeping it nice and neat so now with our box there's our box in the scene and let's just check oops, check everything works by first building all okay so once your uh, scene is built let's hit close and we'll just do play from here and we're okay so scene's working now you notice when I do play from here you get this error so one thing people like to do is just skip past errors but uh, you should make, always make sure you read them and then uh, you tend to find out more if anything's actually going wrong now you see this says uh, this, this map is using externally referenced package which won't be found when in a game now basically what this is saying is that this package here isn't saved in the UDK game folder and obviously we that's right it's not saved in there but it does mean you can play it from this window here but it means if you wanted to actually launch this as a level in game you wouldn't be able to do so uh, you would, um, it's an easy enough fix you would just need to move this into the UDK folder structure okay here's the last thing just to make sure this definitely works if you right click on the package and hit save there we go that's now saved and that's it basically now you know you've got fully working folder folder structure in 3ds max and in UDK you also have a fully working package so you can import whatever you want into this uh, just as the last little point can't emphasize this enough make, just make sure that whenever you're, you are exporting or importing do it all from within your folder structure this also means that when you come to hand in all your work at the end of the module you can you should be able to just select this folder structure and paste it uh, into a zip and upload it and so on okay so that's your initial setup